Hello traders, so welcome to another video. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you something, uh, just going over this GBP JPY trade. So I'm gonna teach you a, a tool or how to use a tool that you most probably are familiar with, that you've heard about before, but maybe you just don't know how to apply it or implement it, right? To work for you for your trading, right? So we're going to be looking at the commitment of traders report. So essentially, just to summarize what it is, it's just a, a position, it's just different positions uh, for, for for let's say smart money or institutional traders so they need to submit their open positions obviously not all of them but most of them do so they need to submit and then we are able to see their positions by their positions whether they are net long or net short right so let us go quickly to right here so as you can see this is what I'm talking about. So if you visit the website, you can just visit barcharts.com and then you'll be able to find uh, what I'm talking about right here. So as you can see, you are able to see the different positions for the different currencies. And obviously, if you're looking for, for you can also select whether you're looking for energy energies of which you can be able to see oil prices or oil positions, right? In terms of are they net long or net short on oil? And then you can also see that for gold, so on and so forth, right? But essentially, it's a tool at the end of the day so it is not the actual dictator of of whether you trade or not but it is a tool that you use as a form of confluence right so that is the most important thing but this is the most recent one so it so us for us as the general public we get this every friday right it is submitted on tuesday right to the cftc but we get it on Friday, right? So it's 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 available to the public every Friday. So every Friday you'll be able able to access the most updated one, right? So I'm just gonna click on this one here that I shared in the free Telegram group. And if you have not yet joined the free Telegram group, you can do so, right? Like I said, it's a free Telegram group. You get daily updates on fundamentals or what is happening from a fundamental perspective, right? So I had shared this. I think it was June fourth. And like I said, keep in mind the change in large investors hedge fund positions from the prior week, right? So as you can see, if I click on this picture, right, let me do this. So as you can see, the British pound, they had actually added 24,000 long positions on the, on the Japanese yen. They had what? They had added 11,000 short positions, which means that they had positioned themselves going into that week by adding more long positions and adding more short positions right and this lined up with my with with my direction that or the position that i was looking to take on gbp jpy so this was not the reason why i took the position i had i was, I was already looking for buying opportunities because i had been waiting for pullbacks so this was just now an added confluence to that okay if the if the large money is also or, or the smart money is also lining up or adding more positions in the same direction then of course it gives me more confidence to execute that trade right so essentially this is how you use the actual uh, cot report so it, it is not the only tool that you look at but it, it is an additional tool just as a as an added confluence right so this is what i had shared uh the screenshot and then of course i had highlighted it right this was on june 24 Ju sorry june the, on, on the 4th of june right 2024 and then obviously as you can see, that is how I was able to do it. I was able to execute it was this first position that we have right here, which was around the 4th of June, right? So it was on uh, the 4th of June and I executed the first buy position. And then obviously, as the market continued going up, I, I scaled in another position, right? And then my target is right up here on top, right? Around two, 201, yeah, around 201 price. Uh, so that is where my target is, right? So that is essentially just this tool that I wanted to share with you guys that you can use it to your advantage. And the key important thing to look at when it comes to this tool, it is the net change in position. The net positions is just showing you the overall longer term trend in terms of are they net long or are they net short? But the net change shows you the change or the total change from the previous week. So if you look left here, sorry, on the right hand, which is the most recent one, as you can see, this is as of the 4th of June. This one was as of May 28th, right? So as you can see on this one, we have short positions, we have long positions. Then we have the change in the in the long positions and we have the change in the short positions. And then the total is the net change. So we focus on the net change and then we also focus on the net positions as an added tool, not as the dictator of the direction, guys. You need to use the economic data 
or the, the economic data is what actually takes precedence when it comes to you finding the direction. And then when you when you when you're set on the direction you have your bias now you can use the cot report as what as an added confluence to it right so this is essentially how we use it and then obviously another reason if we're looking at the pound okay this was from uh from like i said from from the from 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 june right june 4th and then this is the most recent one so i'm going to show you now how we can actually so how you can actually or how we use this as well right to actually see how the how the positions have been evolving so as you can see from last week before we close this last week they added what they added 17000 long positions on what on the pound but they also added 23000 long positions on the japanese yen so that means that the likelihood of us actually seeing what actually seeing weakness or strong weakness of the japanese yen is less because they added more long positions on the japanese yen whether that was profit taking or whatever pr profit taking of the sell positions in essence they added more long positions right because obviously if they close short positions then the japanese yen will rebound higher a bit right so that is just how we view it but essentially if we click here and then we select detailed report that is when we'll be able to see the changes right for the different weeks so as you can see as of april 30th for the pound they were sitting at negative 28 so they moved from negative 28,000 to now where they are at positive 43,000 so they've been adding long positions all this time on what on the 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 british on the british pound right so you can also use that like i said as added confluence it should not be the only thing that you look at but you use it as added confluence to your actual strategy uh, especially to your actual fundamental analysis direction or bias right so this is the tool that i wanted to share with you guys that you, sh you, you should use to your advantage right and this tool is part of what we cover uh, what we cover in the fundamental uh, in the 12th day fundamental analysis mastery challenge of which we actually have one that is coming up on the 17th or starting on the 17th of June which is next week Monday uh, you essentially cover mindset mastery we cover skill set mastery and then we cover tool set mastery so when you're covering the part of tool set mastery this is when we actually incorporate the cot report and a bunch of other tools that we use right why is this important because a good workman never blames his tools right so it's the same the same applies for us as traders right if you want to if you feel that your tools that you are using are not working for you it's not the tools that are the problem it might be your knowledge right it might be your experience with them or how you actually use them right so that is what i wanted to share with everyone and of course click the first link down in the bottom so that you can join the challenge uh, so sorry so so that you can actually join the group the free telegram group and then obviously if you want to enroll in the challenge you'll find all the details inside the group as well right so this is what i wanted to share with you guys and then you can now go out and use it uh, as an added tool of confluence to your trading and then most importantly later on we have the fed uh, fomc decision and we also have the us cpi so be safe trade safely and trade profitably guys and if you found value in this video as always like the video and obviously don't forget to subscribe if to subscribe if you have not yet subscribed and then i'll catch you guys in the next video